guys welcome to gk insight in this video we will discuss uh, current affairs studies on 22 to 23 march 2023 and all, which, all the questions are very important for competitive exam and if you need a pdf of this video you can join the telegram channel i will provide there and the link will be given in the comment section so let's get started the first question is who won the indian wells 2023 Correct answer is option number B, that is Carlos Algaraz. Here, Carlos Algaraz won the Indian Wells 2023 by defeating Russian Daniel Medvedev in the final. He belonged to Spanish country. He became the youngest world number one ever after his dream and claimed his third Master 1000 title. Question number two, which public sector bank has constituted large percentage of women employment in their total staff strength? And the correct answer is option number B, that is State Bank of India. Here, State Bank of India, according to, provi according to data provided by the Ministry of Finance in the Lok Sabha, 25% of total women workforce on average in the nationalized bank in the country and SBI has highest percentage that is 26.7 percent women employment in their total staff strength next question in which city the headquarter of RBL bank is located and the correct answer is option number D that is Mumbai Here, recently the RBI has imposed a monetary penalty of 22.7 million rupees on private lender RBL Bank Limited, private limited. The reason for imposing monetary penalty is due to not complying with certain defectives on recovery agents. And the present MD and CEO of RBL Bank is R. Subramaniam Gomar. Question number four, who has been honored the esteemed National Humanity Medal by U.S. President Joe Biden? The correct answer is option number A, that is Minty Kaling. Here, Indian American and actress Minty Kaling has been honored esteemed National Humanity Medal by U.S. President Joe Biden. The National Medal of Arts is regarded as the highest level award and these are often upon artists, arts, patrons and groups by the US government. Next question, a new AI model BART has been designed by which of the following companies? Here the correct answer is option number C, that is Google. Here, BART, a new AI model has been designed by the most powerful company is Google. And BART is the latest AI-powered technology and conversation system. It is now accessible to the public, but only in UK and US. And it will soon come up in more countries and languages. Question number six, World Water Day is observed on which day? And the correct answer is option number D, that is 22nd March. Here, every year World Water Day is observed on 22nd March, and this has been decided by UN in the year 1992. It is celebrated and observed to spread awareness among common public of water conservations and various other methods that can effectively consume water. And the theme of the World Water Day 2023 is Accelerating the change to solve the water and sustain crisis. Question number seven, which of the following state has its first trans lawyer? Correct answer, option number P, that is Guerrilla. Here, 
Padma Lakshmi becomes the first ever transgender lawyer in Kerala state who has obtained the position of lawyer and got her name in the bar council. Question number eight. Recently, the INS drought was launched in which city? Karigan, sir. Option number A. That is Kolkata. Here, recently the INS Android was launched in Kolkata. It is an anti submarine warfare shallow water craft, SWNSWC. INS Android dedicated its name from the largest and longest island known as Android Island in the Lakshadweep Archipelago. And the ship was built by the Garden Ridge shipbuilders and engineers in Kolkata. Next question. Recently, which state government has passed right to health bill? Correct answer is option number B, that is Rajasthan. Here, Rajasthan has passed right to health bill, which assured every individual and residents of the state to avail the public health facilities. And the bill makes it mandatory for the hospital to provide treatment in emergency cars without waiting for medical legal formalities and give medicines and transport facilities without charging money and right to health referred to and means the most attainable levels of health that every human being is entitled to and the origin of the right to health that back as far as in 1946 when the first international organization world health organization who came into existence of two formulate health terms as human rights. Next question, every year, the vernal equinox observe on which day? The correct answer is option number A, that is 21st March and 23rd March. Here, every year, vernal equinox happens twice a year, approximately 21st March to 23rd March. Vernal equinox happens when the sun is directly above the equator. And during the vernal equinox, both the northern and southern hemisphere have equal day and night time. The vernal equinox, spring equinox, has takes place in northern hemisphere around 20 or 21st March, while the Southern Hemispheres, it happens on 22nd or 23rd September. Next question. In which year Indian aims to attain top global aviation market? Corrigan series option number B, that is 2030. Here, by the end of the decade, India is assured to become the world-leading aviation market, surpassing the United States and China. Currently, India is the third largest civil aviation market. Question number 12. Recently, India Prime Minister gave a sandalwood Buddha statue to which of the following country Prime Minister? Karigan, sir. Option number D, that is Japan. Here, recently, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi gave a sandalwood Buddha statue to Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida during two-day visit, two-day state visit, and the statue depicts Buddha sitting in Thayana Mudra under the Bodhi tree. Here, sandalwood is one of the most scared herbs Ayurveda. In India, sandalwood is most mostly grown in Andhra Pradesh. Telangana, Bihar, Gujarat, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, and Tamil Nadu. And Karnataka is sometimes called as Kathara Kuti or the land of sandalwood. Next question. Recently, which state government has announced the state first waste to energy project? Correct answer is option number A, that is Tamil Nadu. Here, Guerrilla government has announced the state first waste to energy project in Koskoti, 
this blunt project facility is expected to be built in two years and generate more than six megawatt of power. Waste to energy project use non recyclable dry waste to generate electricity and use solid waste management pardon. Question number 14. This is the last question. Nihono Shuri from Nagaland received Padam Shuri Award 2023 in the field of Karigan Star is option number B, that is arts. Here, Nihono Shuri received Badam Shuri Award 2023 in the field of arts from President Drupadi Murmu. Shuri is well known personality in the indigenous handicrafts for her original arts motifs and pattern in traditional waves. She is also two time recipient of National Handloom Award in 2007 and 2022 for her artwork handicraft. She also represented India in France last year at the Lee BHV Maris in Paris. So thank you for watching the videos and if you like the videos and gain something from this video please do subscribe the channel and press the notification icon the latest update on this channel. And if you need PDF of this video you can join the telegram channel general knowledge inside I will provide there and the link will be given in the comment section. So see you in the next video.